Hello again everyone, the launch of Saucer Swap V2 is upon us. And now we must cover a very important topic, how to move your liquidity from V1 to V2, if you choose to do so. Remember, V1 and V2 run side by side. With that being said, let's take a look at how to migrate our HBAR, HBAR X liquidity from V1 to V2. I'll start on the portfolio page of the new web app. Below, I'll click the tab V1 Farm to see all my staked positions in SaucerSwap V1. Here, I see the SaucerSwap V1 HBAR HBAR X pool. I'll click on that to open the page for this pool. By tabbing over to Manage Position, I will see the interface to supply and stake or withdraw and unstake my liquidity. If I wanted to earn rewards in this pool, I would provide liquidity in this interface and then proceed to the stake component below. For those of you who are familiar with the farm page from the old web app, this stake component is analogous to that farm page. But for the purposes of this video, I will tab over to withdraw to remove my liquidity from this pool. When I do, you will see that I am first prompted to unstake my liquidity before removing it from the pool. I will follow this prompt and unstake half of my liquidity by clicking the 50% button and then proceeding to approve the transaction in my wallet. Recall that when I unstake liquidity, I will also receive my pending farm rewards. For this reason, there is no need to harvest rewards before unstaking liquidity. Now that I've unstaked my liquidity, I'll go down the page a bit to see the component to remove my liquidity. Here, I'll click the max button to remove all of my unstaked liquidity. Then I'll proceed to approve the transactions in my wallet. Note that I am leaving half of my liquidity staked in this pool, which is still receiving rewards and will be used in swaps. SaucerSwap V1 and V2 will work in parallel, and I can provide liquidity to pools in both versions to diversify my yield strategy. Great! Now that I have successfully removed half of my liquidity, I'll go to the top of the page and click the back arrow to return to the pool's overview page. I'll scroll down to the pool's table Click on SaucerSwap V2 to sort by V2 pools. Then I'll search HBAR X in the search bar. Perfect. Here is the HBAR HBAR X 0.15% fee tier SaucerSwap V2 pool. I'll click on it to get started. If you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on creating a position in a V2 pool, check out the dedicated video on our YouTube channel. Let's proceed by clicking on the New Position tab. Here, I'll choose the Focused Volatility strategy for this HBAR HBARX V2 pool, as I don't anticipate the price deviating much from its soft peg, I'll select the Focused Volatility strategy in the interface, and then click Max next to the HBARX input in the Deposits component. Finally, I'll click on Approve and Mint Position and sign the two transactions in my hash pack. As these are being signed, note that this pool is receiving Larry rewards. That means, as soon as my position is created, I will automatically begin accruing liquidity hours for the current reward epoch. Great! The transaction succeeded! Not only will I receive swap fees from this pool, which I can claim on the Claim Fees tab, but I will also receive a token airdrop at the end of this epoch, in line with my accrued liquidity hours in the Larry system. No staking necessary! If you have any questions about the steps outlined in this video, hop into our Discord. We will see you soon! at the official launch of SaucerSwap V2 on Friday, November 17th at 9.30 p.m. UTC.